And a lot of people asking how they can help. You can join the Red Cross and CBS to help those impacted by the hurricanes. To make a donation, head to the redcross.org slash CBS. And you can find that information right on our website. But let's take a live look at MNC Bank Stadium right now. You go, ladies. They get to throw the football. Yeah, hi. hi. She's like, I'm on the field. Hi. I'm out tonight. We see you. Throwing the football, <laughs> catching the football, running into those, what are those things, block, gentlemen? That Some you blocking block. pads the there. Block, yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah. The blocking dummies? Are they are, dummies? I don't know. It's, <laughs> you no, should know. You've I'm done not. this before. You've worn a helmet. You've put on the pads. I have. I have. We look yeah, to you for a, the football it expertise. It gave me a huge respect for those players. <laughs> Huge respect. And a I don't know how you move under all that, let alone play. It's not easy. They make it look easy. Though. Well, they're dressed appropriately, right? Yeah. The women are? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah they, they, they were all bundled up. Yeah, they're going to need it because temperatures this evening continue to drop out there. But take a look at that sky there. Really nice to see some blue skies, a few clouds out there. But overall, pretty decent day it was that wind today that really was whipping up. We had some gusts over 40 miles an hour at times that really was blowing some things around. But it looks like the winds will relax a little bit tonight. Probably not enough, though, to completely eliminate the threat for frost, but uh, it looks like the winds will stay up enough to where frost will not be a huge issue here for tonight, maybe in some areas, maybe in some of those sheltered valleys. But next several nights, yes, that will be the case. Colder tonight, more clouds tomorrow with a chance for some sprinkles. We're watching the core of this colder air making its way over the region, so we'll have a few more clouds. It'll be cooler tomorrow, but then as we get towards Wednesday through Friday, we're going to continue on that streak of sunshine cool afternoons, chilly nights, and then warmer as we head into the weekend. Temperatures across the area this afternoon reaching the 60s, but out west we've been seeing 40s and 50s, and as a result, a few spotty showers have been popping up, and that's what I was talking about. Some of that's going to sneak into our area here for tomorrow, so expect a very slim chance for a sprinkle here for tomorrow afternoon. But we've got 50s, we've got 60s, the coldest out towards the west, Hagerstown and Hancock in the mid-50s there. You get farther east over towards the eastern shore into Caroline County, Denton at 64, and there are those wind gusts that, again, have been over 40 throughout the afternoon. They're starting to come down a little bit, but still 20 to 30 miles an hour. Temperatures steadily dropping through late tonight, right around midnight, mid to upper 40s. Then when you wake up tomorrow morning, most areas around 40, but there will be some pockets of upper 30s out there. But what we're going to be watching is upstream. You see all these clouds and these little specks of green here. The core of the coldest air aloft is going to start making its way over the region here next couple of days, especially tomorrow. And as a result of that, with a little bit of instability building in the afternoon, with a little bit of sunshine, will help pop off a few showers. Again, tomorrow's highs only in the mid-50s. Northwest winds 10 to 15. And there's that very slim chance for a shower or two here coming up tomorrow afternoon. The winds are still going to be up tomorrow, but not quite as gusty as what we had this afternoon. Maybe some gusts up to about 20, but that's about it. Thursday morning is going to be the morning that we're going to be watching for the coldest temperatures. Now, I do think Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday morning will be cold, but I think the coldest temperatures will occur on Thursday morning. We're going to see many locations, particularly along and west of I-95, getting down into the mid to upper 30s, and therefore the frost risk that you see here in the blue and even some purples there, the highest along and west of the interstate and parts of the upper eastern shore. So again, the core of the coldest air swinging over. By the time we head towards the weekend, though, look at all this warmer air that starts to push in. And this weekend into early next week look absolutely fantastic. But again, Thursday morning is going to be your coldest morning. And then by early next week, our low temperatures are going to be into the 50s. Neighborhood forecast for tomorrow across Carroll County and Frederick, as well as Howard and Baltimore County, looking at temperatures into the mid-50s. Columbia 57, parked in at 56 degrees here for tomorrow. So you get the idea. More clouds, very slim chance for a sprinkle or two, and colder temperatures. We stay in the 50s on Wednesday. The coldest night should be Wednesday night, Thursday morning. This will be down into the 30s area-wide. But then look at that warm-up hitting into next week and gorgeous weather from Thursday all the way through next month. Oh, 37 look at all those sunshine. Yeah. 74, back and forth, the back roller forth, coaster. Yeah. It's good, however. Yes. That is a beautiful mm, forecast. Yeah. All right, what do you see?